Welcome to Shape and Explore. My name is Ryan Pfeiffer, and today we're going to be making a DIY everyday carry holder. This project's really simple and it's perfect for storing and displaying all of your everyday items. It even features a built in wireless charger for your smartphone. Let's get started. I started out with a pine 1x8. I measured and cross cut my first piece at 12 inches. This would become the base plate. Then I measured and cut out two more pieces at 6 inches wide. These would become the two upper shelves. I had a rough idea about how I wanted these vertical shelves to stack, but wasn't sure about all the details. I knew that I wanted to have some sort of vertical progression to the shelves, and thought that a faceted geometric design could look very interesting. So I marked out some lines, turning the base plate into an octagon, and the upper two levels into hexagons. The initial shapes that I created were quite random, and none of the edges aligned, so I traced out some new lines, working off the initial faces to create some unity between each layer. I trimmed down the new shapes, then used my belt sander to sneak up on the finished lines. I was really happy with these new shapes. The faceted edges create unity between each layer, while still allowing variety within the individual pieces. The shelves aligned on three sides at the back, and would be held together with electrical conduit. I used 3 quarter inch conduit, and a 15 16 inch Forstner bit to make the corresponding holes. My initial plan was to clamp all three layers together and drill a single hole through all of the layers, but then I realized it would be interesting to recess a hole in the top and bottom layers. This way the pipe wouldn't be visible through the top layer of shelving. Before drilling into my final pieces, I made some test holes to check the fit of the conduit. I was surprised to see that the fit was not as snug as I expected it to be. So I experimented by mixing up some two-part epoxy and adding in a few pinches of sawdust. My hope was that the sawdust would help to close up any gaps that remained between the conduit and the wood. The epoxy and sawdust seemed to work quite well, and after it cured, I put it to the weight test. The cantilever had no problem holding some weight. Ready to move forwards, I marked out the positions for my holes and recesses. I drilled all the way through the center shelf, then added recesses to the top and bottom shelves. Then I did a test assembly to figure out the height of each shelf, and I ended up liking the look of 2.5 inches between each shelf. I marked out the conduit, then trimmed it down using a pipe cutter. As an added feature, I wanted to include a wireless charging dock hidden within the base plate. I picked up this inexpensive charger from IKEA, but wasn't sure how strong the signal would be, so I used my router to make a test recess in a scrap piece of wood. I routed out most of the material, leaving only a few millimeters for the signal to pass through. And luckily, the signal was just strong enough to charge my phone. With this proof of concept, I traced the outline of my phone, as well as the charger, onto the bottom of the base plate. Then, I drilled out a recess for the router bit. I did several passes with my router, being very careful not to go too deep on the final pass. I then marked out a position for the charging wire to travel through. After that, I sanded all the components to 220 grit and used a sanding block to round over the exposed edges. Then I finished off the wooden shelves with Minwax Polycrylic in clear satin. It provides a nice low gloss finish and doesn't discolor the wood. While the shelves dried, I used some steel wool to clean up the conduit. Then it was time for final assembly. I mixed up some more epoxy and used a framing square to help set the conduit at 90 degrees. Once that had cured, I used a spacer that I made off camera to help hold the second shelf in place. Then I could epoxy the third shelf into place. With everything cured, I used my hot glue gun to install the wireless charger into the base plate. Then I finished it off by adding some furniture feet to the bottom, and it was done! I 
I hope that you enjoyed this project. It was really fun to build something so simple yet so versatile, and I'm quite happy that the wireless charger worked out in the end. If you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up below, and feel free to leave any questions or comments down there as well. I'd love to know what you thought of this piece. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to say welcome, and consider subscribing. That way you can stay up to date on all my newest builds. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time on Shape and Explore.